guys welcome back to my channel you already know it's your girl alana poche thank you so much for clicking on this video um if you're new here welcome and if you're turning thank you so much for coming back so today i want to do a face mask so i decided to pick this one up i actually picked this up at the dollar store at dollarama it was four dollars um it's the nobleman powerful peel off black mask 30 minute facial therapy um so that's what it looks like right here I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this baby works. So first we're going to start by opening it up. It does have a little guard here. So we're just going to take that little tab off. Just like that. I'll place that down there. So all I'm using today is just the mask and then I'm using this little um, face mask brush to apply it. This is from the Dead Sea Oasis. So I'm just gonna give it a good little, I thought it might need it, might have needed a little shaking, but I guess not. I'm just gonna go ahead. This is how it applies. And I just noticed that I actually have little fuzzy hair on my spatula. So I'm gonna go and rinse this off and then start again. <laughs> Okay, so take two on that. Here we go. Okay, so I just finished applying the mask. I did do it a little bit careful in the hairline area and then near the eyebrows, um, just because I know that I've seen some really good reviews on this product. And it's this mask is very sticky. It was very hard to put it all over the face nice and smoothly. It's, it really is just so sticky. Um, pretty much once you put it in one area, you can't really dispute it evenly like all over the place so i had to keep pouring more product on my little spatula brush thingy um so now i'm just gonna wait 30 minutes because it does say it's a 30 minute facial therapy so right now it is 9 44 pm so i'm just gonna wait 30 minutes and then i will check back in with you guys when it's time to peel this baby off which I'm very scared for because I've seen how painful um, some people had it when peeling this mask off, so stay tuned. So as I was mentioning, I only put it around the perimeter of my face and I tried to avoid as much as possible my eyebrows and like my hairline. And I didn't put anything too close up to my eye just because under your eyes, there's already a very thin layer of skin there. So um, I felt like this mask is probably a little bit too strong and I don't want to be sitting underneath my eyes and like trying to pull this mask off, which I've seen in other YouTube videos um, where it's like very strong to the point where you're literally like your skin's like lifting up off of your like bones 
um, so I just didn't want to do that. So I just decided to try and keep it away from the hairline and then just in the main areas like my chin, my cheeks and my forehead and then obviously my nose as well for any blackheads or whiteheads that may be hiding. Okay, so I'm back and it's now been 30 minutes. Um, the face mask is completely dry at this point. There's a few parts over here which are a little tacky still, but it's not transferring onto my finger. So I'm just going to go ahead and start peeling it off. As you can see, it's very dry. There are some places like over here around the mouth that we're already kind of peeling. So I have a mirror here as well. I'm just going to look into as I try. Um, let's get going. This is definitely going to hurt. Especially if you have, if you haven't recently, or if you don't use anything to get rid of the uh, facial hair, like the peach fuzzes, then this will literally remove them for you. So it might be a little bit more painful if you haven't done it in a while. But this is really just gonna take everything off my skin. I can definitely tell that just by the first few pulls. I'm just gonna keep removing this and I may fast forward it just a bit. Um, keep on watching. This definitely works and it's not, it, it hurts, it definitely hurts. Um, but we're just gonna keep on going. My eyes might get a little watery near my eyes. Almost there, I'm super glad. I look so crazy, but I'm super glad that I didn't go any higher up on my eyes. I definitely recommend staying away from your eyes and just leave it to about here like exactly where I did it that way you're not going too close because that would really make your eyes water even this right now is like th this part is the most annoying right by my eyes <sighs> deep breaths on the nose <laughs> oh my god this is insane i'm literally like almost crying <laughs> i don't think i'll ever do this again <laughs> oh. ah. it's literally like putting yourself through torture like why did i do this I just had to take like a minute break to um, stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing for the look of me. I literally, at this point, like almost regret doing this face mask because it hurts. And it's just such a weird feeling like right here by the nose. It just like sends a huge like little shock upwards and makes my eyes want to just like water.
my pain tolerance by the way is very high so by me not wanting to do this mask again if your pain tolerance is very low i would not do this face mask i really wouldn't or if you do it try washing it off with water and see if that works but i don't think that will do the job because by pulling it out like this it is helping to remove the impurity Okay, so there's still a few stubborn parts. I'm just gonna scrub it with this little face washer. Comes off nice and easily with this. So if you ever do a face mask and it's just taking you forever to wash it off with the water, I suggest getting one of these. And also use this to wash my face. I just love it, it's really good at re um, removing makeup as well. And I have about eight of them, so I can always have a clean one and a fresh one ready to use. And I love that they're reusable, so you can literally wash it and reuse it. And not have to worry about throwing it out and getting new ones. Okay, so now, I'm just gonna moisturize my skin and then I will be back. Okay, so for the final review, I would give this face mask a, a 10 out of 10. It does exactly as it says. My skin is baby smooth. I can, it already feels a lot brighter and it just looks nice and healthy. It literally feels like a baby's bottom and I feel like it honestly took away all the fuzzy hairs that I had on my face because um, I know that I did have a little bit when I first started and now my skin feels so freaking soft um, and my nose is also feeling like there's getting like little white heads um, and now it's just completely smooth like I don't feel nothing, no bumps and everywhere else feels so nice as well um, I haven't gone ahead and put my nighttime skin care routine on it just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish doing that. But if you can tolerate pain, I definitely would suggest picking this up. It's definitely worth a try. Even if it becomes too much, you can always go ahead in with water and like, a, like some type of cloth to help um, get the stubborn pieces off. Um, so I definitely think that it's, it, Anyone can use this um, as long as you just, if, when it becomes too painful that you just stop because you don't want to irritate the skin um, any more than it might already be um, by tugging at it. So if it gets too painful or just too much, make sure that you just use some water and a cloth to um, remove the rest of the face mask. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.